It's story time. That's right. So I have a couple of stories from the subway and one work story. That isn't like super funny, but it's kind of typical. Um, so this first one was kind of a nice one. This was a girl and she was really cute. I would say she kind of looks like, um, I don't know, I guess we could say Catherine LaSalle from YouTube who does acting. She went with black hair and kind of her size, her shape. But she looked like she was on drugs, okay? She looked like she was on drugs. She was spaced out. And I'm coming down from work. I'm going to take the red line back to East Los Angeles, okay? And, or Union Station. And she's uh, walking up to me, okay? She kind of looks like this, kind of kind of open eyes, very kind of sad face. And she says, hey, come here, come with me, come with me. Do you have, do you have any, do you, do you have a lighter or, or like, uh, do you have any weed on you? Like she just looked, she kind of moved around. You could tell, like, here's how you not be a racist, okay? If you see a black dude and he's kind of like this, he's kind of reading, you know, kind of doing some writing. Okay, he's cool, right? Or he's just kind of like, you know, he's he's sitting straight, he's moving like we would, right? But you see a black dude moving like this shit, okay? Uh, being Mr. Nice Guy is not, is kind of out the window. But anyway, she was moving kind of crazy a bit. But she's like, hold my hand, hold my hand, hold my hand. You got to hold my hand. Just hold my hand. Just come with me. Just walk with me. She was so cute. I swear she was so cute, but she was on like, how, like her eyes were dancing a little bit. And I was like, oh, shit. Oh, God. I wanted to laugh the whole time. So eventually, we jumped onto the same car. She was trying to get me to like have her little eight ball packets or whatever it was, whatever weird. It's that adult candy. You could only buy at a smoke shop or some dealer has it. It's got all kinds of edibles, some weird shit. But she's hooked on that stuff. She's really hooked on it. So I'm like, fuck this. I can't. I can't. I really want to, but I can't. Uh, she showed more affection for me than most females in the last uh, five years. Uh, or actually 10 years. That's neither here or there. The last decade of that shit. Um, so the next one is... Um, this guy, that this was like recently, this guy had a big leg. He literally had one leg, okay? He's on a wheelchair, okay? So he's got his wheelchair, he's got his leg. And then he's like, Argh! he's talking to this girl who has who doesn't look at him at all. She's on her phone. She doesn't look at him. I got a Christmas present right now. So this was the same train stop, okay? And so... It's like he got these two rocks that were like testicles or what are these big rocks, giant testicles. And he throws them at her like he just tosses them on the ground. He doesn't hurt her. He just because he's in his wheelchair. He can't he can't throw that far. OK. Um, there were some strange people just moving about yelling and shit. Uh, there was one person uh, that I saw. And I was coming home on the gold line, okay? The gold line takes you back to Atlantic. And this this is in California, okay? So this guy, he's uh he's coming up and he taps me like like what the I, I was like quick to like what what the fuck are you doing? And he's like, hey, 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 you got something you got something I, I need you got something for me? Like he looks at me like this, like we we're supposed to know each other, and I'm like who the fuck is this? So he's like, you going? You got a lighter? You know? And he's like, no, I'm got shit, man. So I was ready to start. And there was this really nice looking girl that was sitting away from me. Um, she was like a nine out of ten living in East LA. She looked looked super fine, a nine out of ten. And um, I didn't talk to her because it was late at night. It was like around the ten o'clock, eleven o'clock hour. So you know, I don't really do that unless something happens. And I could talk to her. Most girls like that do not want to talk to anybody because they know that guys like that are trouble. So I didn't do it. But the but the guy that was bugging me was going to go talk to her. And I was like, okay, if this mother, I, I took my headphones off. I said, if this motherfucker bugs her, I'm I'm gonna fuck him up. I'm gonna so fuck him up, dude. He better not do anything to her. I swear to fucking god. So I was mad. I was like pissed. So from now on, when I go on the goal line, I have to sit on the seats facing the, the far end because there's only two cars because they're doing construction. 
So I'm sitting on the far ends of these things so I can watch everything that's going on because you have to, you have to do this shit. Uh, the last story is uh, at my job. So this guy, this guy is about my age. He has a little mustache, okay? He's like, he's not the kind of person that pays attention. He doesn't clock in on time. He sometimes shows up late. He misses his lunch breaks. Uh, he wears the wrong uniform. He does a lot of dumb things like this, okay? I've done some dumb things, but this guy has slow to learn, but okay. So he's telling me, hey, man, you know, he always, he always bugs me, ask, telling me, asking me, are you, are you living the American dream, man? Are you living the American dream? And then he says, uh, hey, uh, you know what? Uh, what? What you call it? I want to get a boat. I said, a boat? Really? Yeah, man, I want to get a boat. So like, uh, so are you going to take this in the water? Ah, oh, maybe, maybe. But like, I don't know which water or which way I want to put this thing. I want to get a boat, but like there, I can get it for $60,000. That's my goal, man, to get a $60,000 boat. Now this guy has like, uh, he's out of, he's divorced. He has a couple of kids. One is in high, one is out of high school. One is in middle school. And uh, he's like, oh yeah, man, I want to get a boat. I put it, I don't, you know, we live in East Los, you know, most of us Chicanos, we live in Boyle Heights. We live in the cities and the projects. Getting a boat is not the first thing we think of. Now, I I mean, it's possible he wants to go out sailing on the boat, but he just doesn't come off that way, um, as a matter of fact. And it's just that, uh, so, I mean, it's the delusions of grandeur kind of story that you hear, you, you, go, to a, you go to a job, okay, whether you're doing trash pickup, uh, you're servicing a park, a temporary, uh, a temporary amusement park, right? Carnival, temporary carnival, uh, special events, right? You're working part-time or full-time and it's not the greatest job, but then your coworkers have these delusions of grandeur. They're going to go somewhere. They're going to do something. And sometimes they'll do it and other times they don't because they don't have enough money. But yeah, those are my stories for the night. Uh, tomorrow will be Shredder's Revenge. I don't know how much I'm going to play. Probably about 10 minutes. I do a live stream, but my live streams are not recorded on TikTok. And if I do it on YouTube, it glitches in and out. I don't like doing that, so that's that.